So um, this is an 18-month-old boy who um, at uh, birth developed infantile spasms and was noted to have unilateral hemimegalencephaly, which is an enlargement of one cerebral hemisphere. He had a left hemispherectomy, um, but despite this, he had persistent seizures. Um, after a vagal nerve stimulator and starting the ketogenic diet, this helped, but he still has about 20 seizures per day, which is better than about 100 that he was having before. His mother had a normal pregnancy, um, normal ultrasounds, no known infections during pregnancy, and he was born full term. Um, there's no family history of seizures, no neuro neurodevelopmental or genetic diseases that run in the family. And his developmental history, as you would expect, he's developmentally delayed. Um, he's able to sit with support. He can throw objects, and he likes toys that have lighted buttons. Um, he can't say any words, but does communicate his um, likes and dislikes with sounds. Um, these, this is a list of the medications that he's on. Um, as you can see, he's on Sabril or Vigabitrin, and we'll be talking more about that. Um, because of um, uh, his use of Sabril, um, it was recommended that he get um, eye exams. Um, unfortunately, the first exam that he got was just uh, VP and ERG without an EUA. So the first time that we're seeing him is um, in April of 2018. In the clinic, he has wandering eye movements and XT. And then um, for his EUA, his pressure is 7, 12, and this is a cycloplegic retinoscopy. And so as I said, in 2017, he had a um, VP and ERG without, without the associated EUA. So we do have a comparison point. And that you can see that his uh, P100 amplitude um, is slightly better back in 2017, but this wasn't under anesthesia, so probably pretty comparable. And this is single flash um, ERG, um, and you can see that he has uh, decreased B wave amplitude. Um, and this is 30 hertz um, testing the cones, and he has a very poor cone response bilaterally, um, as he did back in 2017.